Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Watch Standard Podcast. Today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Today, I'm going to be blindfolded and I'm going to have to guess a watch in under 30 seconds. I'm gonna put all three. Oh, that's all, that's so hard. There's three. Are they okay? No, okay, whatever. It better be a Rolex, man. If it's an Omega, I'm screwed. Those reference numbers. Oh God. Three, two, one. Okay, so okay, this is definitely going to be a. Rolex is how they do their class. It is a oyster bracelet. Let's see. Oh, unidirectional bezel, which means it's most likely going to be a sub or a sea dweller. Let's see. I can't pull the crown out. It's really tight. I'm going to have to guess that this is a Rolex Submariner. It could be uh, the Bluesy. It could be a um, 116610. Sorry, not 11. Uh, 126610 LN. Or uh, any of the real like Submariner models. Or that's, that's my guess. It's going to be a Submariner, Submariner of sorts. Right in the middle. Okay. This one, okay, this one is a lot heavier. This is definitely going to be an Omega. Oh, is it? Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. There's no crown guards. The, I'm not sure how. Okay, this could be a Datejust of sorts, but it's really chunky. Um, but they just, yeah, they just usually don't have crown guards. Yeah, it's almost like a GMT because the bezel does move both ways in like larger increments. I can't tell. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. <laughs> this, I have no clue what it's going to be. Um, if I had to guess, I'm going to be guessing that this watch is a... Jeez. I'm going to have to guess this is a Omega Seamaster of sorts. Uh, the actual reference number, I wouldn't be able to guess. Um, but... I'm guessing Seamaster because it is a little bit chunkier. Uh, I did feel the case back uh, is not metal. Uh, that's something I didn't mention. I think it is a crystal case back. So I'm guessing that this is a Omega Seamaster of sorts. Okay. Ooh, this is hard. Okay, whoa, this is very light. It has a really unique meshy uh, feel to it. Wow, this is really small. This... Uh, I'm going to have to guess. Okay, I think this is a fluted bezel. It's a little hard to feel. Clasp seems. Oh, this is an old school uh, date just. T tone. Final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. Yeah. Like that. It's a slightly smaller size. I could tell by the sound. Uh, the links are a little bit more like. <clears throat> Uh, loose. It doesn't feel as tight. The Jubilee bracelet, I think, is what gave it to me or, or gave it away. Um, all right. Uh, let's see how we did. Can Wait, I take this off now? Uh, okay. Um, I think we should give this one. Is this like a secret bonus level? Yeah, this is a secret bonus level. Whoa, okay. Count ready? Yeah. There. This is going to be What in the world? Okay, so it's still stickered. It doesn't open. Okay, so this is gonna be a date just. Oh no, this is a sky dweller. This is a sky dweller, I can tell by the way that the uh bezel moves. There's no crown guards. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very unique feature to the Sky Dweller. Sky Dweller winds, comes out, changing something. It's, it's been 30 seconds? Yep. Okay. Yeah, my guess is that this is going to be a... Uh, yeah, it's an Oyster Bracelet Sky Dweller. Um, 
obviously it has a jubilee bezel i think what gave it away is the uh thing right here um or i could be totally wrong and this is the yacht master i know the yacht master is a little bit different but i'm not entirely familiar with that one as much as i am with sky dweller so sky dweller is going to be my pick Whew. man that was that was a lot harder than i thought 30 seconds goes by so fast oh my gosh all right all right first one okay it is a submariner one two six six one oh um i think it was the clasp and the bezel the union directional bezel that gave it away for me plus i did feel the cyclops uh i'm not sure if i mentioned that but yeah i mean this is a great watch for any type of diver um we could literally i i have the previous model of this it's literally my favorite watch um so this is something you can never really go wrong with i mean this is the quiz essential watch you know this is like the james bond watch i know i have my fingerprints all over it because i was you know basically blind for the past five minutes but uh this is yeah like like i mentioned this is going to be one of those watches it's a killer watch it's gonna last you forever it's gonna last you a lifetime and uh it's it's definitely something you want to keep in your closet or on your wrist, I should say. All right. The next one. Next. Wow, I was way off. Um, wait, what? What did I say? This this one was. I said, it said okay. I said an Omega. I was so lost. Um, I really thought this was an Omega mainly because I had a lot of trouble with the clasp. Um, I was looking for like those side clasp things with Omega, but I couldn't find it. So I was like, is it Omega? I'm not sure. Uh, it felt so large and chunky, and I definitely got confused with the case back. I remember mentioning I thought that this was uh, crystal, but it was metal. But there you have it. This is the uh, Sky Dweller. This one is actually in very high demand. Um, I should have messed with the bezel around just a little bit more, uh, and I probably would have known a lot better. But, you know... I think it's a nice first try. Maybe I haven't dealt with enough Omegas to understand how like heavy and chunky they are. But yeah, let me know how you guys think I did on this one. I'm probably just way off base. You guys are probably like hating on me in the comment section now. <laughs> All right. Watch number three. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the one I got right. I remember almost instantly. The bracelet totally threw me off uh, just because it is pretty, you know, um, it's not worn, but there's a little bit of wear and tear. That's just something that happens naturally when you wear a Rolex. Anyway, I did feel this, uh, like the looseness of it. And I was like, OK, um, I felt the crystal pop out just a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but you'll see the crystal popping out right on the edge right here. It's one of those things that you can't tell uh from far away another thing that just was a total giveaway is that older style clasps have like that little uh little thing at the top where you're able to really tug on it whereas older model or newer models don't have that same type of thing it, it's not as prominent so that i think that one was a dead giveaway for myself um yeah you can see right here let me show this camera right here that uh you get a little bit of leverage on the older one rather whereas the new one are uh, a bit more smooth are you for the bonus one yeah what was the bonus one? Oh gosh the bonus one oh <laughs> oh my gosh the irony oh my god oh my god dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was crazy was that I, I I felt like I got this very quickly compared to this one. I was like, oh, this one's an Omega. And then I'm over here like, oh, this is definitely a Sky Dweller for, you know, this this clasp and bracelet and, you know, opening it up and like winding it, seeing how it like feels. Yeah, the, the dead giveaway here was that it really was that bezel. Um, I moved it over to the left as far as I could. 
I realized it only clicked so many times. And I was like, you know what? This is a sky, sky dweller. That's how you set the time. That's how you set the calendar and the date and all that, all that good stuff. So there you have it. Obviously, I need some help. These two are literally the exact same reference. Um, they're both blue dial on an oyster bracelet. So the, these, these watches, uh, as beautiful as they are, um, trying to figure them out blindfolded is a whole different level. So there you have it. 30 seconds or less, a new watch standard segment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed all the watches. Thank you to whoever tried to trick me by giving me the same exact model. Oh my goodness. Definitely tricked me. I mean, I called the first one uh, Omega. I'm, I'm still lost. I called it Seamaster. Seamasters are small too. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the whole show. Definitely comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe we can do another type of segment or if you guys have any ideas, let us know. See you guys next week.